Hello, in this video we'll quickly run through scaffold design tab, which is related to the modeling of scaffolding inside of um, the software. Scaffold modeling tools located under scaffold design tab, if you click on there. And as you can see from the left to the right, it depends on your screen size, it finishes at the visualizer. Get back, click on the scaffold design. Let's start from the project info. Project info sets a lot of data uh, where the intelligently the data will be carried over to your drawings, reports and everything like uh, all supply details, client details, project details, also scaffolding details for engineering. We'll talk about it later. Also, there are system um, sub tabs which you can use. Currently, when we're recording the video, ULA, OLA and quick stage is been available. Um, let's select the quick stage, apply and OK to set the system we're going to be using for this uh, quick overview. And we'll start running from tool to tool quickly to show you and give you a taste what it is. And uh, you'll be pretty much understanding what's doing what and how. The first tool on the ribbon is an item tool. Item tool allows you to create um, anything basically in any system. It's just piece by piece building up scaffolding um, and customizing to whatever you need. Let's click it once and uh, it requires two points of insertion, first point and the second point. On the insertion you can already see pre-populated standards available uh, to you. You can go to and a half, select it and from here you can start changing it on the drop down. Uh, you can go with two meter one and it will instantly change. Then also what you can do if you hold down alt interrupt the command to stop inserting the tool, select it, hold down Alt, pick the center line, and you, you can start dragging it the next direction. And as you can see, the modular distance is changing 0 0.562, next one, next one, next one, next one, and so on. It's an intelligent way of inserting and copying uh, data or standards or anything in the model using item tool. Also, you can create any other item from item available. If you click on it, go to the mini toolbar, and then you can start creating other objects from these objects. Uh, you can create base plate, ledger, transom, guardrails, and so on. We'll talk about all of this in detail later on. I'll just briefly show you. Let's go and insert a console bracket, clicking the console bracket and specifying where it's gonna be. Let's say there's the one or perpendicular and the console bracket is created, we'll interrupt that command. And what we can also do, we can select it and we can copy object to another object. This is the source, this is the destination of uh, it. And then also from this object, we can start creating decking, picking the second console bracket and the deck will be created and so on and so It's like a lot of, it's super powerful tool and super intelligent. It allows you to do anything in the software, build scaffold from scratch, from one piece to the end of it. The second is scaffold bay. Scaffold bay allows you to insert a scaffold bay by picking two points. We're picking the first point. And again, if you drag your mouse along any axis, X or Y, doesn't matter. It shows you modular distances of the bay will be created. Let's go with the first one. There's the first bay created. We can modify it anyhow later on. It's just an overview. And also we can insert the second one close by. Let's go and drop the second one. We can go also, come here, change the bay configuration. Next tool is a lapping bay, creating lapping bay in between two bays. So pick one bay, pick second bay, calculate it and insert it with all items. You can see this is double coupler. And the next tool is the tube and clip. Um, let's insert another bay, clicking once on the scaffold bay and picking it close by to another bay. Then interrupt, clip tube and clip, specify first bay, specify the second bay, and the tube and clip will be inserted, as you can see, all the way through with all items created around it. Let's see how corners arrangement working. Um, we'll pick the scaffold bay again and we'll insert uh, another bay maybe in Y direction over here. And as you can see, we have two bays. Now we can go corners, fire up the tool. And don't worry about settings for now. We can go create, pick first, pick, sec, pick second bay. And uh, the corner arrangement will be calculated automatically and all scaffold will be created with um, toy boards and everything. Next step, um, wall trace tool. We can fire it up also and go and trace any shape as we like, making it closed or non-closed. I even can go like this. 
hit the middle mouse button to finish the command and the software will start calculating the scaffold layout to us automatically and placing it as best as possible. Here we go, as you can see, it's been generated with everything included. We can go from there and again customize and change settings and everything. Don't worry about it for now. Then the next tool is the birdcage tool. Um, if you click on it once, it will require four points to be picked in the model in order to create the birdcage. We'll pick the first, we'll pick the second, we'll pick the third, and we'll pick the fourth as well. Hit the middle mouse button to finish command and the birdcage will be created to us also. It also might be changed to anything later on. Tank tool, click on the tank tool once. It requires one point of insertion. You click once and the scaffold around the tank will be generated for you. You can change radiuses and so on later on. Don't worry about it for now. Stairs, there are abilities to insert a stairs attached to a bay. Clicking on the bay, input is the bay itself and uh, the, also there is ability to insert independent stair tower also dropping it anywhere in the project let's go with the first option attached to the bay pick a bay and it will be inserted also i'll interrupt and uh, as i said you can insert independent stair tower clicking two points it will be inserted as well. Um, next tool is a container mesh tool. Um, you click on it and then it requires base to be picked in the model in order to create a container mesh. And I can pick bay, 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 hit middle mouse button and the container mesh will be generated. Alternatively, I'll just um, undo it now. Encapsulation, again, we're picking up some base, hit the middle mouse button and bay is an input for this tool and the encapsulation will be created. Next to wall tires, we'll click on the wall tire, we'll go into the elevation of the grid. We'll move okay, into this area and uh, we'll pick the standard, go to the true view of it, as discussed in previous videos, hit the middle mouse and then pick elevation where the wall tire will be generated. Interrupt, go around and here we go. That's where it is. Let's go back to the 3D rendered view. The next step is to generate gear list or yard list. Simply clicking on the gear list, the tool will be fired up and uh, depends on, um, you can set up weights, um, item cost, uh, item code and marks. You're gonna be calling up later on on your drawings and reports. And here, just matter of picking type of a report you'll be generating, project list or yard list. Let's go with the project list will hit create and it will start generating the project list for the whole job and now as you can see the project gear list has been generated you can scroll up and down it's in an excel format you can change the logo to any logo you would like all of this data will be automatically filled up um, as long as it's set in the project information uh, the date and also you can see item names quantity weight cost weight total and price total as i didn't specify any cost and weight total of the scaffold calculated and quantity of gear you need also. Similarly for the yard list, I'll skip it for now. Next, certificates. We can generate handover certificate automatically, just simply clicking onto it. And the data will be calculated and filled up. Um, this data will come from the project properties. As you can see, it shows us how many base, what length and so on. Um, number of working decks, type of classification of the scaffold we're using based on the project data and so on and so on, so a lot of data here generated automatically based on input inside of your project data. The next step is um, I'll skip visibility and ground levels as we can also change the ground levels at any stage uh, for base and for wall traces. Um, utilities where we can generate anything to, like uh, we can adjust for instance bay to bay, let's say, uh, simply if we have one bay and uh, we have another bay inserted from here. Then we can go yeah, adjust bay to another, clicking source bay in another bay. The base will be kind of adjusted or linked together in the chain of the bay. Next is draw info. We can draw temporarily um, bay ends to show you. 
when you're selecting the dot is shown and one and two of the bay and it disappears when you're deselecting it just uh, we're giving you ability to show the bay ends as well if you select the bay bay ends and temporarily it will be drawn unless you till you redraw the view if you redraw the view the temporary graphics will disappear and also profiles if you would like to inspect some profiles inside of the bay making sure everything is as exactly as you would like you can hit profiles or you add something manually using the item tool you can go isolate the bay and start exploring it and then remove graphics will remove all of these temporary graphics next uh, you have access to a view list it's just a list of the views which we discussed in previous videos um, here for your convenience uh, new view you can create any new view uh, based on different settings again please go back and uh, check how to work with views videos and the last uh, tool is a visualizer if you go and uh, visualize all it will visualize the whole project for you in nice 3d rendered view where you can start taking snapshots or fly throughs and record the video giving you giving it to a client as you can see the whole project has been generated and you can zoom in in any areas and see everything in detail taking snapshots anything like that now this is another ability to show your project really nicely or take a snapshot and put it onto your drawings in 3d also this is all for the scaffold design ribbon tab now we'll go into each feature and explore it in detail video by video talking about it in depth thank you for watching this please if you have any questions please contact support at scaffplan.com we're happy to help you